Welcome to Tech Savvy. My name is Lee Newman and I'm Associate Provost at West Georgia Tech at the LaGrange campus. And we're having another fun-filled episode of our Tech Savvy program today. We've covered in the past episodes um, student services and enrollment processes. We've covered um, financial aid and how how you get your financial aid. We've covered all the support services that are available for the students. We've even covered our new um, program that we have a virtual learning campus that we do a lot of things online. So, so far so good. We've showed you a lot of exciting things that are going on at West Georgia Tech. Well today we're starting with the programs and we've got probably one of my favorite programs in the whole school. It's industrial maintenance and electrical programs. And our um, guest star today is Mr. Jim Biagi. And I won't, later on in the episode, we're going to have one of his students talk to us. So I'm excited about this opportunity because we get to share what actually goes on at West Georgia Tech, especially on the LaGrange campus. Mr. Biagi, thank you so much for being here today. I have been looking forward to having you on this episode because <laughs> you're so much fun to talk to and you've got so many exciting things going on in your program. Right. Well, I'm trying to overcome my shyness. So no, yeah. I don't think that was ever there. Okay. But I want to say that your enthusiasm, your initiative, and certainly your creativity is so valuable to our school. And you you just shine. You make us shine. Well, thank and, you. And your contacts in the industry are valuable, extremely valuable, and I appreciate you letting me meet all your contacts in the process, because I do love a plant tour. Okay. I do love a plant too. So thank you for, um, for all your help so far, and I depend on you. I want you to know that. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. We try. Good. Good. Well, tell us about your program. Well, uh, the program is industrial systems and then that includes mechanical systems and electrical control systems for running anything there is to do with any plant i don't doesn't matter whether you're making batteries or plastic buckets or o-ring seals or carpet or automobile parts or or uh, you know switch engines or just anything that can be made and uh we train these people to understand the basic mechanics behind it pneumatics hydraulics and, uh, and more and more importantly all the time are uh, getting into the electronics and the programmable logic controllers. And oh, boy, the I more do a person, like that stuff. The more a person knows about that, the better his pay and job stability is going to be. His or her, and shall I say, because we have both. Good, good, good. All right, well, I think I'd like for you to start off by explaining, like, in, when industries call you and say, oh my gosh, we've got... 50 people that are fixing to retire, what are we going to do, what are we going to do? What can we do to help? Right. Well, the, the interesting thing is we have a mix of uh, anything from people just out of high school all the way through some seasoned uh, people. And many times we're able to take someone uh, who's close to graduation because I don't want to lose them no, when that close. No, they got to get finished. And work with them with a the schedule, and then they will go ahead and receive that diploma. And some of them are also working on their associate uh, degrees mm -hmm. in various uh, disciplines there. Uh, he or she who takes both the mechanical control systems and the electrical control systems are the quickest uh, hired and the highest paid. Now, I always tell them, hey, if you get offered something for, you know, even at the beginning scale, go ahead and take it. Show them that you can get there every day on time. Do your work. And they can pick up on whether or not that you notice, uh, if you know what you're doing. Because you can mm -hmm. tell real quickly whether someone knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, can, they can go from there. But we get calls from industries of all types all over the region. Hey, I need two of these. Have you, who do you have for uh, this? And, they're, you know, they're not always... Uh, are they necessarily going to be with the, I have to have a PLC person. I need a good mechanic that understands hydraulics. I need a good one that understands pneumatics. Mm -hmm. I need a guy who understands gears and pulleys and How about a guy that understands that. the manufacturing environment? The, the, yes, and they can be adapt, they can adapt uh, anyway. I've had people go from the poultry, uh, uh, the poultry plant uh, on into a plastics film plant. I've had, you know, cross because they do know the, mm -hmm. the systems uh, there. And we've had people leave from other jobs and go to the poultry plant. So, you know, things like that happen. Uh, uh, the people are eligible, you know, able to move um, laterally uh, through there. So, uh, I think the main thing is, I want everybody to understand that as much as anything, if you're good and willing to work, 
That's all, you know, if you, they That's want the five things. Step. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday and Friday. And Friday. And you've heard that before. Several and, times. And uh, do that. And, you know, we have people that also come into us from the military who've had maybe two years of, of electronics. And we look at their uh, schedule and see, and sometimes they're ready to jump on up to a higher level. Same way with, uh, I, had a, I had a man who worked on the catapults on a, on an aircraft carrier. He had tremendous hydraulics and pneumatics and he said give this credit. So you want to take anything you've had in the military or from any other school and we'll look at it and you don't have See to See how it repeat. works into the whole yeah. schedule. So right. we can move. And that's the, another thing that we are very flexible on that. You know I teach programs day and night. And is, I'm the same teacher. So they get the, you, know, you have some of them rotating shifts and they'll be with me four weeks in the morning and then they'll be with me four weeks at night and then back four weeks. We're that's something we're really flexible with is being able to accommodate all shifts. I think that right shifts. there should yeah. be so attractive to industries these right. days. Right. And, and, uh, and then some, some uh, have been diligent and have taken, only been able to accommodate one class a semester, but they stay with it four or five years. Uh, if you're full time, you can go through pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Probably mm -hmm. three uh, three regular semesters and a, a shorter summer semester. So you can also get through it rather 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 quickly. And that would be a diploma. That's that gives you the diploma, which right. uh, has all the technical content that uh, that a degree has. And uh, those that want to complete a degree take up another higher math and another higher English and uh, sociology, that right. kind of thing. Right. But you get all, you don't get any more of the technical. You get it all in the diploma. The diploma, that's right. and that's a shorter amount of time right. to take it. One of the neat things that's happened recently, I'll go ahead with this and, uh, before we go back to the, on to the next uh, topic. Uh, we have recently uh, broadened the electives to where you can take as many of, of all four of your electives in one particular area. If you want to take all four in welding, you can, or HVAC, or you can take them in machine tool, or you can take them in the electrical area. So, in other words, instead of just limiting, limiting that, it, that serves so the that meets the needs of those industries that say they want multi-crafted right. employees. So, and uh, they all I was going to say is besides taking the my mechanical classes, they all take a minimum of three electrical classes, DC and AC motors, and then they take uh, in, uh, uh, motor controls, and then most of them go ahead and take the PLC introduction. And I'd like to mention too that uh, we're getting more and more into the robotics. We have uh, th three robot, well, with include the robot welder in my lab. We have four robots, and we have training on how to program that and make them move. That is that's probably one of the neatest side trips that you can take at the school is come and see all your toys because what you do is you make the student program the equipment which is good practice and right. it shows them how to work and right. then in the meantime they get to see it working. Mm -hmm. Our latest visual uh, <laughs> happens to be we, uh, we located a, a four-way uh, traffic light uh, from uh, from the uh, state surplus, surplus and uh, we have now suspended it from the ceiling with a chain and we're programming it to do different uh, speeds and chains have a little crosswalk drawn out but it's a real good visual where you can really see rather see than just writing it down well i think we need to put that during registration we need to put that in the main <laughs> hall <laughs> put that in the main lobby so because it's so crowded um well tell me about your connection with the industries well, we're fortunate that uh, we have very many industries who have people who are willing participants. We have what's called an advisory committee. We meet twice a year or more when needed. And they say, here's what's uh, needed now. Uh, we talk about it, said, okay, we have these trainers. Some of them get a little age on them. Uh, we need these two new trainers. Uh, we recommend that you get this style here. And this is what we're using in industry. And there's three or four main types of PLCs, for example. So we want to get the well, That was my question here. is if, if the vast majority of them use Allen Bradley, then we want to mm -hmm. make sure we've got that covered. There's a lot of Allen Bradley, a lot of Siemens, and, and, and there's, there's a lot of still GE and use. There's a lot of all the major uh, names there, and so we want to get equipment that matches it. Now, I have to say also, many of these industries and business and suppliers have been very generous with donating equipment. Yes. And that has helped tremendously to do that. And, uh, you know, some of it's, some of it's brand new. You know, well, and some of it was old and y'all had to update it. Right, and, but we have, and it's, it's interesting to see, and I have to brag on some of the younger students who have grown up with computers, unlike me, uh, who is just amazed you what they could come in there and know, I can figure that out, or I can, you know, I, I can write this, and you know, just because of the age difference with the young people. Because of the practice that they get day-to-day you know, day you know, activities. I'm really proud to take an older piece of equipment that you, you know, well, let's uh, guess we'll surplus that. No, no, I think I can make that work, and reprogram it. And, 
um, and that's real good good learning. Uh, oh, that's so. wonderful. I think like y'all did a waterfall for homecoming. Oh, that, that was a, <laughs> I was telling somebody we had to calculate the uh, evaporation rate and all that kind of thing. and uh, Precision you know, me measurement. Precision measurement. And, and fluid uh, power. All of that. So. And motor controls. I mean, all that right. is part of it. And it was a fabulous, <laughs> fabulous yeah. waterfall. Didn't have as much luck with the volcano, but it, uh, it looked like a red... Well, well, you knew what it was anyway, <laughs> right. right? Well, it was impressive. It was very impressive. And then, y'all, we need a conveyor belt for our can drive. Yes, we uh, we just about have that one ready to go too. And I think uh, that is just all once we have again, to do that's is refiguring some equipment that we have, and uh, we have a ten foot conveyor that's uh, six inches wide. It's not the biggest, but it's big enough for cans. Cans. And uh, so we're going to be handling several thousand cans for our I annual think 10, project 000. here. Uh, so we'll do that and uh, have them come off and box. Uh, and then here again, you're figuring speed, and, you know, optimum speed, too mm -hmm. fast, and they, it looks Slow like the old down. Lucy show. But mm -hmm. <laughs> just that is perfect for right. learning, and that's the kind of information. That's the kind of learning that I think most adults. Mm -hmm. best to learn from is when you have hands well, on. I have to give kudos to you too. Back a, a couple of months ago I gave you a PLC book and a set of questions and another one on, a, on electronics and you've been studying those. <laughs> yeah. I mean you know that's evident and and, uh, and and that helps to know too. So Well I'm planning yeah. that's my little my um, <laughs> smart goal is I want to learn about PLC okay. so I can talk about it normally you know intelligently right. anyway. Yeah. Well this has been great we about run out of time for our first segment Anything you would like to say to tell our viewers about your programs and about the technical well, I tell, college? I would say this, you know, we, we are, I don't want to say we're not formal, but you don't need a, you know, two week long appointment to come and see Mr. Biagi. Come in, big parking lot, walk across the bridge down the steps, go to the front lobby and say, hey, I, I'm here to see Mr. Biagi. And you can come in while we're doing labs, and uh, you know, you, you just I want you to come on in and see what we have, and see if it's not suited for you. It is. It's yeah. just so much fun. Yeah, so, so much fun. That's it. Well, thank you so much for being here today, and I appreciate your time. And would you please come back to see me again? Because you're so much <laughs> fun to talk about, and your programs are so exciting. Well, well, thank you. Gosh, you're welcome. Well, all right. But thank you very much, and we will be back in just a minute when we get to talk to our student from that's his program. So thank you and see you in a few. Welcome back to Tech Savvy. We've got a great program today. We just had Mr. Biagi, who is one of our instructors in our industrial programs, and he's invited, he suggested that we talk to Jeremy, and this is Jeremy Coverton. Coverson. Coverson. Yes, ma'am. And he's one of his, I guess he's his star student, because that's why he was invited today. Is that right? Mm, something like that. Okay. Maybe you just are, you know, you're the one that sets the right example. That's hope, why he chose I hope, you. I hope so. Well, tell me, why in the world would you pick West Georgia Tech? Well, I came to West Georgia Tech back in 1996. I graduated from Troop High School, coming from Manchester High School, and I joined the military for two years. Mm -hmm. And after the military, I worked uh, different manufacturing jobs. Um, I'm 38 years old now, and I was recently employed with uh, Kia Motors for security. Mm -hmm. And I, I noticed when I worked different manufacturing jobs, I watched the maintenance people work. And I uh, never thought I could do something like that. But uh, during this program that I started with the veterans, uh, they allowed me to go to school. I just, and I had to get a job. They allow you to go to school for 12 months. They give you benefits. They pay you 12 months to get your diploma in a job that's in high demand. Mm -hmm. So I thought about it and I did a trade off and I enrolled in college in January 8th of this year. and. Um, I always wanted to come back to West Georgia Tech, but like I fell in love early, and uh, me and my wife had our uh, 15 years had our first child back in '96, so I had to put school on hold, all right. and I put school on hold for all these years. So it worked out that I could go back to school, and I wanted to take a program up, and I talked to my VA advisors, and they told me uh, this would be a good program, 
And I started off in the electrical part of it, electrical control system. And they told me that it would be best if I learned more into that program. So and basically it was, uh, as a parable, I would say, you like Sunday dinners? And Sunday dinner, you have the collard greens and the, and the uh, macaroni and cheese, the cornbread, the whole deal. And the electrical part of it, it's just like you just have the collard green part, just the collard, that's all. So I was just learning the electrical part of it, and I needed to learn all of it. So the mechanics part of it teaching me the whole deal. So I'm, I'm excited about it, and I'm learning, and I'm motivating my daughter and my children to go back to school. That's I mean, to right. go to school, rather, at college, and, it, and I'm loving it. And you're setting the perfect example uh, uh, for your children. And in the I wasn't trying to do that, but now me and my daughter, that's all she wanted to talk about is going to um, UGA. Uh, oh, yes. that's where I went and graduated from. Uh, go, uh, go Bulldogs. Go Wolf Wolf, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's exciting. I'm, first of all, thank you for your service. Yeah, and this is, a big, this is a big month for the veterans, and yeah. we really appreciate your service yeah, and you. proud of you. Yeah, thank you. And I don't think y'all get enough notice and, and, and accolades. So yes, yeah. thank you very much. You're and welcome. you're a perfect example. We want more veterans to come because yeah. the, the benefits are oh. just awesome. Oh, very awesome. I mean, I, I enjoy it so much. Uh, like I say, and I, right now I'm currently employed. Uh, I go to school full time, Monday through Thursday, and I have to go to work tonight, to be honest. And I work on uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at uh, George Pacific plant in Warm Springs, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I do security down there from midnight to noon. And I have a wonderful supervisor. They allow me to work around my school schedule to where I can, I'm not tired at all. I'm, I, mean, I enjoy working, I enjoy school, and just. I'm just enjoying life and living it to the fullest. So. Well, that's always good to hear. Oh, yes. More people need to be having that attitude. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm enjoying <laughs> life. I'm, I'm telling you. That is wonderful. Um, I just happened to notice on the Internet yesterday that Georgia, Georgia Pacific is looking for maintenance technicians. Oh, yes. yes. And it's, I think one of the requirements was a two-year de technical degree. Yes. And I um, just so happened to bump into one of the guys, uh, the head officials on that's, that's going to be looking at the hiring, and I had to go open the door, unlock a door for him. We was walking, we had to walk about maybe 200 yards, and we got to talking, and he was, uh, and the conversation came about, and I said, well, he, he said, you enjoy your work? I said, yes, but I go to school full time. He asked me what I was going to school for, and I said, I'm going for industrial mechanical system. He looked, he said, you, you might not believe what, that's exactly what we're hiring for. And he said, you need to look me up and in, the, in the future when you get finished. And uh, I was thinking, you know, do we interns or anything like that? But that would be so would awesome, be, yeah. But it he was telling me the pay scale and everything down that way. And it, it was, I want to, I, I mean, it was nice. Very attractive. Very attractive. I mean, I probably could take care of my wife and kids and maybe two more kids if I had uh -uh. to. <laughs> <laughs> that means the, the teams are uneven then. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better be with my wife though, so I'm not quite sure. She, she might not want like that. Oh, well, I think, see, that's a perfect example of an industry that is looking for exactly what you're studying. Yes, yes. And, I mean, I'm sure you touched on what all you're learning in your classes, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Did yes. you tell them about building the waterfall and uh, the um, robot that builds the blocks? No, I didn't that? get a chance to tell them all of that, but I told them I definitely would look them up. And, um, like I said, that, that, it built my confidence to, to help um, with the waterfall and the robots and, it just things that I didn't think I could do, and Mr. Jim Biaggi, um, I, I, my heart just. I Ain't got he special, awesome? I got a special place for him. I mean, he make me feel so comfortable. I mean, he his teaching style is so uh, fit for my personality. He he makes learning so fun. And right when you think you can't grasp it, he use a parable. He use a uh, a thing in his past to, to to make the lecture or the lesson, and it ties right in. I'm at home sometime. I'm like, oh my goodness, that meant so much to me, and I was. I got a toolbox at my at my house, and I had it for years, and I had it, it just disorganized tools everywhere. And he's very neat. I mean, this classroom is so neat. he's big up on neatness and safety. And um, I was at home, and I was I said, look, I'm gonna sit down and arrange my toolbox, and I can hear him in my head just, okay, put this there. And <laughs> for years, I should have been did it, but without him, I I don't think I ever would have did it. But he helped me. The organization and the skills that he's Well, it's taught. part of the quality control process. Oh, yeah. And you learn a lot about quality control in these classes. Oh, yes. And safety. You brought up safety. What yes. about how safety stressed in your Oh, very much stressed. I mean, I might get caught up sometime. It might slip and don't put on my safety glasses. But he, he also reminds you, safety first. I mean, safety glasses, earplugs. You're wearing... Um, if you get too loud, or you got to protect your uh, your ears and protect your eyes, and, and learn about PPE and all that. All the and every um, course we take, that's major. Uh, basically, the first 
part of it, the, the books is, is uh, safety. So safety. safety is always stressed. And you know, the thing, it's a perfect example of how West Georgia Tech students are being trained in what it's like in the real world. Because yeah. it's not comfortable to start off with your ears or wearing your glasses or wearing, have to wear gloves, but you will be doing that in the real world the when real you world. when you hit the manufacturing floor you will be wearing that and you will be comfortable yeah and it, that's and that's the cover that's to uh, make sure you go to work safe and return safe because i wouldn't want to go around i've been used to two eyes and two years and i had to go home and, and can't see my wife and my kids too good so i make sure that, that what he teaches us and what we're learning that i apply it to my life and and I, I'm, I'm going to stick to that promise so. because you want to be protected and yes. you don't want to be stupid and make some kind of um, careless mistake, and yes. that's usually how the safety acts, the, the issues with safety arise. Yes. Um, so you're in the class, you're learning. What's what's something you're learning about right now? Right now, I'm learning about the. Uh, I'm in the uh, force of motion, and I'm in the maintenance of reli for reliability. Uh, we're learning about uh, different uh, gears and, and the physics parts of the theory. Uh, we put together, like I said, for homecoming, I was able to put together other. Uh, the waterfall and, and a, like a 10-foot volcano, the uses of uh, uh, pumps and motors, um, fluid power, the, the different functions of, of what motors for. And, and weren't you proud of yourself? Wasn't, wasn't your <sighs> class just so proud of yourselves when um, you did it that? It was an overwhelming sense of um, satisfaction. I mean, I mean, I'm content, but it just, I want to learn, I'm learning so much and it, it just makes me feel so good about myself and to know that I did uh, a move in my life and, and my kids look up to me for doing that. They're just icing on the cake and now. Well, all right, you've seen the manufacturing environment. Rem I remember it a long time ago being dirty and hot and c uncomfortable and it just was very labor intensive. Mm -hmm. You've seen the latest environment. Yeah, in I, I, like I said, George Pacific is a nice place where I worked there in the um, plant itself for nine years. Uh, yeah, from 1998 to about 2007, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And like it's it's a, a wood power plant. They keep it clean as they can, but it, like I say, it's a lot of it's, it can be dirty and and it's not like the Kia Motors plant. It's different in the area. They keep it neat as they can, and it's in a lot. Their environment is more hot in the summertime, cold in the wintertime, and different jobs are like that. Some jobs might be hot, some jobs might be cold. And Kia Motors, most of it, it's a comfortable environment. I mean. It, you cool in the summertime, wintertime. You, you, it's it's warm. I mean, it's, it's nice. It's I mean, very controlled. Very controlled. I mean, that's where a lot of the industry is going to these days. Uh, a lot of the companies, uh, it's, it's a controlled environment. So you might not have to be in a sweatshop, but if I have to, I just I have to do. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to to get the job to get done. the job. So. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the. I think that's one of the biggest myths out there. Is students aren't excited about going into industrial maintenance because their picture is old coal mines or mm -hmm. old, you know, dark, dingy places, and everything is so quality control oriented now. Mm -hmm. It has to be clean. It has to be dust free. It has to be at a certain temperature. And it's so much better than it used to be. Yeah, and I, I look at it like the more people think like that, the better off I can get. <laughs> Your job chances are just went up well, a little bit higher, yeah, didn't they? Not, don't, don't come to school. No, just stop it. You can come to school get it. It's amazing to me all the job openings in the maintenance area. I honestly was researching for today, and I was looking it up. And, I mean, there was like there are job openings in every area of industry mm -hmm. at this point. Yes. Big size, look small, and they all say two-year technical degree, and then the, the list of, of skills that they need comes straight from y'all's programs, from yes. Mr. B.I.G.'s yes. syllabus. I mean, it's the motor controls, it's the ACDC, it's the PLCs, it's computer uh, controls, electronics, yes. everything. You just go through the list and you check it off on Mr. B.I.G.'s um, syllabus. Yes, and I had a chance to um, go to the Aunt Joy Department of Labor uh, back in January, mm -hmm. and I was talking to one of the uh, reps out there, and they was telling me about when I get my credentials to come back, and they were just telling me how much uh, human resource managers in this area are just begging for this field. They're begging for people, but they can't refer you to that job until you get your credentials. So they said, once you finish, I mean, definitely come back, and I'm, I'm trying to get my credentials now, and I'm definitely going to go back. So. You've had several, um, com well, I know lots of them, but you've had company reps there. Mm -hmm. And what did they tell you? Same thing. I mean, um, one I asked one like the company Mando, um, 
they was um, I asked about the internship, I mean, the, the, but you have to have certain qualifications, and I didn't have that qualification quite yet. But um, they're willing to to work with you, and they, they they're looking forward for this industry for people out of this class. They were highly interested in us, and um, we were highly interested in them. So I'm just going to continue on this path, of, and hopefully Sounds I can like succeed. A plan. Oh man, that's what, I got a vision. Well, good for you. I'm excited about it. And I'm really glad you joined me today because um, you have got the enthusiasm that I want to spread all over everywhere and get some more students in. Yeah. We've got to increase that. We've got a fabulous lab now. It's huge. Oh, yeah. got wonderful equipment. And of course, Mr. Biagi, he yeah. doesn't mind telling you how good he is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and to talk about the lab, when I came um, in January, the lab had been moved from one end of the campus to the other. And no, it was. It, oh, back in 96, it was at the old campus and the new campus, and I was like, okay, when I came to talk to Mr. Biagis, I, didn't, I just introduced myself to him. He said, okay, you can start look forward to working with you. And, and next time I came to class, the cat has been moved. It's a big lab, and it's just exciting. And I, he allowed me to get so much hands on with hooking up the electrical part of with the drop cords, and I hooked up the um, breaker box. I mean, it was a lot of hands on. I got a chance to work with the on site campus electrician and wiring up the wall receptacles. That is kind of information that you can't learn. I mean, you, you, have, have, to you have to practice. You have to practice. And I learned a whole lot. I mean, I thank Mr. Biagi for allowing me to to do that. He, he's such a good multitasker. He teaches so many different classes. I know. You can, it's hard to carry on a conversation with him because he's got so many different going on at the oh same time. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, mean, I couldn't sit down and talk to him. Like, he'll be gone in about five minutes. <laughs> he always got something going. Well, we're done. We've run okay. out of time. And I sure do appreciate your time and your energy and your enthusiasm. Thank you so And much. would you please come back so we can keep up with your progress and through your program and then when you get hired and make all those big bucks? Yes, ma'am, I will. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And that concludes our episode today. Thank you very much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Tech Savvy. My name is Lee Newman, and I'm with West Georgia Tech. Thank you.